Singapore. It's not my final destination, so uh, I'm just here for a layover. And the layover was effectively 45 minutes. Guys, guess what? As I got onto the uh, the transfer, we just passed the transfer desk. I saw that my flight already boarding, so uh, I'm still taking the the sky train to the terminal. So hope they're not gonna leave without me. <laughs> But anyway, guys, we are here um, in Singapore and I'm on my way to my next final destination. I'm now at Terminal 2. This is where uh, I've now got to find Gate F41. Transfer Gate F41. Okay, so that's F30 to 42. Okay, so it's this way. Alright, guys, hopefully I make it. <laughs> So when you arrive, you get to Terminal 1, and then you've got to take the Sky Train, and the Sky Train takes you to Terminal 3, and then from there you've got to transfer to another, which way is it now? F32, this way. Then from uh, Terminal 3, you've got to take another Sky Train to Terminal 2, and this is where I'm at right now. So now I've got to find my gate. And then, uh, well, on the screen it says that it's already boarding. It's not my fault. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Very nice airport, by the way. It's a pity I couldn't stay long enough to show you the airport, but let's leave that for another time. I see it, F41. That's my gate. Just after 8 a.m. and we have arrived in Bangkok. Yes, yes, sir. So we're just going through immigration, passport control. So no questions asked. I just went through uh, passport control, immigration office, and that was seamless. So now, guys, welcome to Bangkok. <laughs> Woo, yes, sir. So the next thing I'm going to do now is just to find transport to my hotel. I'm still early, obviously, so it's still too early. But I will try and get there and maybe just drop my bag off and then find my way around the city. So, guys, as you can see, there are some um, cellular networks uh, selling SIM cards, but I got myself an eSIM and that's actually the company that I'm using, DTAC. But I didn't use it through the company itself, I used my eSIM, I got my eSIM from Nomad, which is the company that I normally use for my eSIM, and I took a, an eSIM for Bangkok. For, uh, I think I paid eight dollars for 50 gigabytes. I think it was a special that was running anyway. Um, immediately my text started coming through, SMSs, messages, because I had my SIM already set up when I left South Africa. And uh, once I got here, it just activated automatically. So I'm gonna tell you guys exactly how I ended up in Bangkok. Um, but let me just get my transport first. Let me get sorted and then uh, I'll tell you the story as we go along. So this video will be about how I ended up in Bangkok. <laughs> I booked a ride with Grab. They don't use Uber. I'm not sure if Uber works at all, but there's no rides available on Uber. And I almost think that Uber is not in operation out here in Bangkok or in Thailand. 
So I booked a ride with Grab. It's gonna cost me about 352 baht. And that's gonna take me right to the um, to my hotel. So these are the pickup spots for the um, arrivals. So you just gotta indicate what gate you had. And well, I just took the first exit that I found. And then when I booked the grab, I just chose that number. See, this is my guy. No, it's not, it's a limousine. Wow, guys, that was a long drive from the airport to my hotel, and it's not because it's far, I think it's about 23 kilometers out. We were stuck in traffic most of the time. And uh, at some point we were standing still for about 20 minutes. So uh, yeah, I guess with the bus it would have been even longer. But anyway guys, I'm at my hotel. I'm staying at the Hotel Rama, the Capital Rama 4 Hotel here in the Sikumvit uh, district. And um, I'm gonna give you a 12 hotel room just now. Uh, the hotel's not quite ready because I'm too early. <laughs> so I gotta go back in about 10 minutes. But I thought I'll just take a walk down the street and just see what they have and what's, what's, what's on offer. There's still a few things I gotta do. I gotta change some money as well. It's overcast at the moment, but well, the weather app says it's 35 degrees. So guys, it's extremely hot and humid. So I reckon the city is still a bit quiet and we'll pick up a bit later and obviously also later this evening there will be some nightlife and some action. As you can see they're driving on the left hand side of the road like they do in South Africa. So that suits me fine. Happy with that. No confusion. So this is my second visit to Bangkok. The first time I came was in 2007. So that was 17 years ago. Bangkok was not supposed to be on the itinerary for this trip. I was not supposed to come to Bangkok. In fact, it wasn't part of my plans. on the fifth floor and there we go thank goodness there's an elevator what's up <laughs> right that's my room all right that's not too bad guys I've got a nice big screen TV some disk, disk space I've got the uh, I suppose the cupboard space as well and then the bathroom with the sh shower oops alrighty and I think there's a little oh it's not a patio but it's the aircon that's on the outside little view of the city as well part of the city all right guys I'm paying $26 per night for this room which is not bad at all not bad forgot to mention there's AC as well and there's the complimentary bottles of water um, dental kit nice all right wow check this out man Nice little chill out lounge area and check this guys. Nice. 
so as I was saying guys, the plan was to go to Cambodia and specifically Phnom Penh and Siem Reap. And then I checked the prices on well, online. I normally check with Skyscanner and Expedia.com and the prices were about thousand dollars for a return ticket from Cape Town to Phnom Penh. And I thought now that's a bit that's a bit steep um, given that I wasn't gonna go for a long time and I didn't want to spend so much on a return ticket if I'm not gonna stay long enough. You know I, I almost feel that it's wasted. And I then also wanted to go to Vietnam after going to Cambodia. So basically two countries on one trip. But the multi-city tickets were too expensive and I just decided not to do it. Let's check the roads. <laughs> wasn't filming them but anyway. And so this brings me to the reason why I came to Bangkok or how I ended up in Bangkok. So I checked online and I found this sweet deal guys. This amazingly sweet deal. From Cape Town to Bangkok. A return ticket. Wow look at this. This is a square with a whole lot of food stalls and restaurants. Nice. Rice, noodle, drink. Might come and check this out later. And on the other side as well, there's also KFC and 7-Eleven which apparently is very big out here in Thailand. And so guys, what happened was I then started doing some research and I found out that if I take the, the plane ticket to Bangkok and then um, I can actually travel from Bangkok to Cambodia and the closest would then be to go to Siem Reap and then from Siem Reap I can then go by bus or train to Phnom Penh and from Phnom Penh I can go to um, Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam. Okay this looks like a Lani uh, salon and nails. Here's a laundromat as well, wash and dry. By the way, I've got a laundry at the hotel that I'm staying as well. Check this out. Clara Clinic and there's Oroka Massage. Let's check the prices, 300 baht for 60 minutes. And foot massage, nice. I found out guys that there's a train that goes from Bangkok to Siem Reap for like $1.50. Now get this, I would have paid a thousand dollars for a return ticket to Phnom Penh. So what I then did was I decided to book the ticket to Bangkok for 530 US dollars. Guys I think that is a steal. But I didn't think twice and I decided let's do that. And then once I'm in Bangkok, I will then book the train ride to Siem Reap and then from Siem Reap go to Phnom Penh because Phnom Penh is closer to Ho Chi Minh City or Saigon in Vietnam. And also the other thing about Vietnam is that in order to get a visa, you have to have an in invitation letter or, or you must book through a a travel agency in Vietnam and because I didn't do that I decided to take the land border crossing option instead and so for the land border crossing all I had to do was apply for a online visa it's like a visa on arrival you don't get it immediately but you get the uh, form or the approval form you take it to the border post and you will get your visa on arrival so that's the plan guys and that is how I ended up coming to Bangkok. I don't usually go back to places that I've visited before, um, even if it was 17 years ago, 
Uh, the reason being uh, that there are so many places in this world that I still want to visit that I want to get as many places in as possible. Well, I want to visit as many places as possible before returning to places that I've seen before. And um, so I don't think that I've seen enough places yet to actually do a return to some of the places. Uh, for some of them I've had to return, like to the US, but that was for a different reason. And then also Mexico. Oh, oh, and so the other thing as well is when I do go back to a specific country, I will then go to a different city altogether. So the first time I went to Mexico, I went to um, I went to Cancun, and the second time I actually went to the U.S. to uh, New York City, and then from there I took a flight out to Miami, and from Miami I flew out to again to Cancun, but then I visited Playa del Carmen. So that was the reason. I visited Mexico twice but generally I don't like to go to places that I've already seen um, so Bangkok was one of them not that I've seen enough of Bangkok but I need to get those stamps in my passport I'm on a mission <laughs> I might not get to all the countries in the world but I want to get to as many as possible Wow guys, this vibe looks amazing out here, man. I'm gonna check out some of this food out here. Okay, so today's video is really about why I came to Bangkok and uh, just the first impression. So, I'm not visiting any sites today, well I might go this evening, but at the moment guys, I've actually had no sleep on the plane, and I really could do with like a power nap, and I also need to eat, so maybe I'll show some of that in the video as well, there's some chicken, pop around later to check out these cafes and restaurants I'm sure there'll be a, a vibe here at night as well it's much busier now than it was earlier today so I mentioned that sweet deal that I got with uh, the airline and I forgot to mention the airlines name so I got this deal for from Cape Town to Bangkok a return ticket for $500 $530 I got that deal with Singapore Airlines and I booked it directly with the airline. So uh, I, I had an amazing flight though. I gotta say I enjoyed the food, I enjoyed the service. I just couldn't sleep on the plane though. I don't know why but I'm normally able to fall asleep on the plane but this time I wasn't able to fall asleep at all and this is why I'm paying the price now so I'm feeling a bit tired. Yeah, I mean, it's not jet lag or anything, it's just I didn't sleep at all. So it wasn't a direct flight from Cape Town. We actually had a, a short stop over in Johannesburg. But that was just to, to pick up some more people. And then from Johannesburg directly to Singapore. I forget the name, I'll, I'll give you the name in the description. To that um, airport. And then from the Singapore airport to Bangkok airport also I'll give you that name in the description uh, that was about a two-hour flight and the flight between Johannesburg and Singapore was 13 hours I need to find food but um, all these little stores they have the menu in Thai and uh, a lot of them don't speak English either. So I just want to find a place where I can read the menu in English. <laughs> For now, I'll check out the other things maybe tomorrow. But today I just want to know exactly what I'm eating. So I'm going to find one of those um, uh, one of those restaurants in that square that I showed earlier, and maybe 
uh, they are a bit more tourist friendly. You know what I mean? Because I think these places are mostly locals and I guess it's going to be cheaper anyway. I was also looking for another massage parlor. And, um, but I didn't see any around this area other than the one that I saw in the square earlier today. So I reckon I'm going to go back to that one. I think I can get it cheaper elsewhere, but it's okay. I mean, I think it was like 300 baht for a full body massage and it was for 60 minutes. So I think I'll take that one. I have some food in the square as well. I know things are going to be a bit more expensive in the square, but it's my first day. Give me a chance. I'll still figure things out. Don't worry. I want to show you uh, cheaper alternatives obviously that is why I chose the cheaper flight so a lot of my travels is about budget traveling um, so, or in fact a lot of my travels is based on budget traveling so that's what I want to show you and I also like to support the local businesses so you'll find that a lot of these places are franchise I mean that's KFC there's some more upmarket restaurants and cafes. I like to support the local guys. But unfortunately now in this case, they're not showing anything in English. And they can't explain anything to me either. So I'm going to go for something simple. I'm maybe just going to go for a pad thai or something or noodles with prawns. Uh, I just want to eat. And then I'll go for that massage as well. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for the uh, clear prawn spicy soup. I don't know what that means. Does that mean a uh, smaller serving? So, I don't know. I'll have to ask them inside. Oh, but that's also deep fried prawn with garlic. Mm. I think I'm gonna go for that one, number three. Ooh, that is clear prawn soup mm. that looks amazing I think those are chilies floating on the top there and I think those are potatoes and you can see some of the oh, the prawns in there looks like some uh, what is this is it dania or is it I don't know help me out Ooh, guys, it's actually spicy. Ooh. I get a lemon taste in there as well, but definitely, definitely chili. Mm. Mm. It's lemon grass. Ooh. I enjoy it. Look at that man. Mm. It's extremely chilly guys. Wow, so you gotta warn you. It's extremely chilly. I love chili food. This one is bite in big time. Mm. <laughs> ตามันบอกว่าคาเซเว่นมันแปลงอะไรไม่รู้ไม่รู้ตั้งนานเพิ่งมาเพิ่งมันชอบเลยต้องอืมสีสีน้ำตาลพี่ก่อน <coughs>